Hey squad, it's cardio pilates session today. If you have not done your warm up, do that warm up first and then come back here again. So for cardio pilates, uh, we'll be doing a bit more of a pilates inspired movement. It's a bit more dynamic, hence we call it cardio pilates. Uh, it's not technically slow for today's workout. So there'll be a whole lot of movement integrating core mainly and also you will be seeing uh, other parts of your body working as well. Okay, and uh, you don't need dumbbells, you don't need to wear shoes, I just need you to have a mat. Majority of the time you'll see me doing on a standing up position uh, and then uh, on the last bit there'll be floor uh, movement. Okay, for today's session, each of the exercises are going to go at 45 seconds and you will rest for 15 seconds in between. The 15 seconds is just nice for me to introduce you to the next move. So the movement will be no repeats. So once you see one exercise, then you won't like see it again. <laughs> okay, so there'll be 20 exercises all together. I hope you guys are ready. Let me show you the first move. So from here, let me show you from the side. Legs about shoulder width apart. From here, place your hands to the front. Gonna hinge forward, pushing your hips back like a swing and you're gonna lift your hands up it's a hinge and a calf raise okay so that will be the first move option you don't have to lift the heels up you can just lift one heel up at a time so still nice and controlled are we ready so keep that core nice and tight hinge forward bend that knees and lift the arms up okay modification lift just one heel up at a time so decide whatever works for you. Even if you do not want to lift, you can just even straighten that arms. Make sure nice and controlled. So working on that balance. So try, if you lift that heels up, go on the balls of your foot. And kind of really squeeze at the top and reaching your arms nice and high. If you can see, my arms are straight, even as, you, as I swing it to the back. Last few seconds. Whew, all right, on to the next one. You're gonna hinge forward. This time, you're gonna go on a swimming stroke. So hinge forward, bending that knees. From here, bring it to the back, and you're gonna switch over. So still leaning forward, or you can go 45 degrees. Okay, ready? Let's swim. Circle your arms. Look to the other side. All right, imagine you're kind of swimming in the water. <laughs> But still keeping your body nice and upright. The goal is to lift. So if you see your body starts rounding, I want you to kind of think about your heart lifted away, lifting away from the belly button. And circle your arms back and front. It's okay if you do not know how to swim. Pretend. Like, yes, you're this Olympic athlete <laughs> swimming forward. Reaching your arms nice and long to the back and then pull it straight arms. In case we get too much, just kind of bring your body up and then coming back down if you can. Whew, okay, that's a swimming stroke. Now we're going to do a step and squat. So legs together, palms together. Now from here, step and squat. So squat you down. Right. Be careful. Ready? And let's go. So bending that knees. So really open up that arms, toes out, heels in. Alright, just be careful of the things around. If it gets too much, you place your hands by the side. Just small little bend, then coming up. But of course, if your body allows you, go a little bit deeper. Inhale as you get down, exhale as you step together. Almost there. Woo. So really go on a wide squat. Even your arms are working. Okay, now on to the next one. Curtsy, tap and side. Okay, now you're gonna step your right foot to the back. Now watch me. Step, tap, side. Coming back, tap, side, lift. Ready? Once you're ready, follow me. So just go one side. If you want, curtsy lunge. Bend your knees. So, option, you don't have to bend that knee. Just step your right foot to the back. But if, if it's okay with you, bend both knees. 
Keep the body nice and long. Even your arms are working. Make sure you lift that back heel up. Even if you step back like this, lift that back heel up. Alright, shake it out. We're going to switch over to the other side. You can even feel your shoulders are working because they're holding on to that position. So same thing, bend that elbows, elbows up, step back, tap, and bring it up to the side. Once you're ready, let's go. Remember the option. You can bend both knees, a curtsy lunge, but still squaring your hips to the front. So working on that legs, working on that range, working on that upper body. So keep it nice and long. Now remember, you don't have to follow my pace. You want to go a little faster or a little bit slower, go ahead. Just listen to your body and just have fun with it. Alright, from here, you're going to bring your legs wide, wider than your hip width. So from here, extend your arms. Okay, watch my hands. I'm going to bring it to the side. I'm going to go two tap back and then coming back. Ready? Follow me. So bring it to the side, turn your body, back heel up two times. And then come back, turn, two tap, come back. Oh, ho, I hope you're getting it. <laughs> So kind of two tap and then come back. Turn, two step. So lift that arm back, turn, rotate two times. Don't worry if you don't get it. Just kind of get familiar with it. Two times. Whew, okay. Ooh, I'm sweating. Now, let's go two side knee crunch. So from here, you're going to bring both hands up. Two times. Two times. Option, you can go without the arms. You can just bring your knees up. Ready? Let's go. One, two, switch. But if you can, pull it in, elbows to knees. Draw it up. Remember, if you need to slow it down, you can kind of like, oh coach, I need some rest. You're still moving. You can kind of still catch your breath. And then come back once you're ready. Let's go. Almost there. So really pull your elbows to knees if you can. Last few seconds. Okay, now we're gonna go into a cardio move. Four, uh, four front leg, and then four butt kick. So watch me. Four, three, two, one, and four butt kick. Ready? Let's go. Four, three. So this allows you to kind of still get that switch, slightly high impact move, but you're still grounded. But of course, if you want, just go with a high intensity move. But choose your option. You can still stay here. So having that understanding how to do a switch. So four front, four back. Eight more seconds. I'm working <laughs> together with you guys. So come on. Whew. Okay, now we're gonna go on to the next one. We're gonna go on the sachet and the passe. So from here, you're gonna bring it to the side. Watch my leg. Bend your right knee. Step out and lift. Step and lift. Ready? Let's go. Right foot. Open up that right knee to the side. Option. Bring it just legs together. But if you're comfortable, passe. You see my arms? Reach out to the side. Inhale as you step, exhale as you bring it up. 
All right, guys, you're doing really well. So try to stay with me as much as you can. All right, last few seconds. Ooh, okay, now we're gonna switch over to the other side. So just move, kind of scoot your body to the other side. So watch me first. Step as wide, so try not to go too narrow or else you'll be awkward to move. So step out and lift. Okay, ready? Let's go. All right, in case if you want to go more, you can even use your hands. We didn't go more, but if you want to scale back, you can just kind of hinge forward and use your hands, kind of support your thigh. Or even just kind of step together without the passe. But choose your option. Remember, everybody's different. So just work towards whatever you feel best today. Don't think about yesterday, or last year, or last five years. <laughs> sometimes when we talk about fitness, yeah, so probably sometimes we may be caught up like, oh, last, when I was 10 years, it was 10 years ago, I can do this, I can't do this. Think about now. The moment is now. Okay, catching my breath. Let's move on to the other side. I'll move on to the other exercise. Tap back and a knee. Watch. Step, knee. Step, knee. Same leg. Ready? Let's go. Curl your arms. Option, you don't have to lift the knee up. Just step, bring it in. Step, but curl your arms in. Straighten and pull. But if you can, give a knee crunch at the top. Bending that front knee, feel a micro bend. So working on that balance as well. So draw it up. Squeeze at the top. Whew. Okay, you may find one side, the bum or the legs. I'm gonna switch over. We're gonna I mean, change that sensation to the other side. So you're gonna step your left foot to the back. Get ready, let's go. So it's not a lunge, but just a step back and then pull it in. Okay, I'm wiping my sweat at the same time. So draw it up, bending that front knee, exhale as you squeeze it up. With your arms nice and long to the back and curl it. All right, let's go. Lift it up. <laughs> Remember the option, you don't have to lift it up. Last three seconds. Whew, okay, on to the next one. Now we're gonna do a side tap. Very easy, side to side, side to side. So that's it. So, but what you need to do? Crossing to the side. Ready, let's go. Put your arms to the opposite side. Okay, I hope you guys are go, going okay. Remember, in case if you need some scale back option, you don't have to really step far, you can just step narrow, but of course if you can, really go out and reach. And if you want, you can do a little propulsion at the middle. Eight more seconds. Last three, two, one. Woo. Okay, I'm wiping my sweat. Okay, on to the next one. Okay, now what we're gonna do is gonna do an oblique induction. So from here, tap your right foot to the side, cup your ears, knee, ankle. Ready? Same side. Knee, ankle. Knee, ankle. So you see my um, foot is like you're playing chop day. <laughs> or say patak crawl. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, it's just you see, externally rotate your hip. So open up that knees to the side. Whoop. But if you can, use your arms to kind of reach. Use your elbow 
and ten. You will be feeling around the adductors. When you take your time, if you get too much, go slow. Whew. All right, let's go on to the other side. We yeah, have the leg. Okay, now we're gonna step out to the side. Cup your ears. Okay, I'm gonna show you again. To the side, tap the ankle. Okay, ready? Let's go. Turn your body and face the front. Turn your body, face the front. Remember, feel free to scale down, meaning go a little bit slower, or you can go faster. Yeah. So it's whole of muscular endurance. We're gonna go at it. Yeah. Almost there. Last 10 seconds. Woo. Woo. All right. Everybody okay there? I mean, I'm okay. Okay, on to the next one. I'm gonna go down to the floor. Okay, from here. Yes, on the floor. I'm gonna go on your elbows. Bring both knees to the front. Feet together. And now I want you to open up the top leg. The top hand to the front and try not to rest this way. Just make sure your shoulders are away from your ears. So open up the knees out and come back. But make sure you bring your feet still close together. So this is called a clamp move. So working on that hip and control that upper body movement. Try not to rock it front and back. Just your knee up and down. You know, like an oyster. You open up that clam. Yes, so that's the particular move. Up and down. Okay, now we're gonna stick to that same side. Okay, from here, we're gonna open, extend, coming back and down. So watch my leg again. I'm gonna straighten that top leg, squeeze that front thigh, coming back and down. Okay, ready? Let's go. Open up, extend. Coming back and down. Ooh. All right, let's see if it gets too much. You just tap it up, coming back. So choose your option, even if it's just a small little leaf. I want you to explore that part of your legs. So feel that squeeze. Ooh. Even your upper body is working. It's a whole lot of muscles going on at this time. Relax your neck, relax your shoulders. Relax your forehead muscles because usually I say that because a lot of my students when they get a little bit stressed, it tends a whole lot of muscles around that area. <laughs> Woo. Okay, let's switch over to the other side. See, my elbows are also sweating. <laughs> I'm gonna go on to the other side. Rest your elbows. Make sure both knees kind of to the front. Elbows is right there, right the shoulder. Just a clamp, open and close. Open and close. Ah, and you feel like, hey, one side, pretty easy. So make sure you ground that bottom leg down. So you see your bottom leg starting to rock, ground them firmly uh, to the mat. And bring your feet close together, open up that knees, and then close it. So use the top hand to gently support you. Even your elbows is pressing down. Feel free to fold the mat if you want a little bit more support onto your elbows. So we're almost there. Okay, now we're gonna do the clamp plus an extension. Clamp, extend, coming back and down. Open, extend, coming back. Option, open, just lift. Coming and down. Okay, ready? Let's go. But if you can really fully extend your legs, straight legs coming back and down. Oh, yes. Uh huh. <laughs> All right. Whatever you're feeling, I'm feeling that too, okay? So let's just do it. We're almost there. You guys got this. And I always say, use your breath. To help you 
throughout this whole time. Don't bite your lip. Okay, common mistake is people like to bite the lip. Really extend. We can squeeze at the top. Woo! Okay, we're gonna go one more. This time we're gonna go onto a mountain climb, but we're gonna go on a knee tuck variation. So from here, you're gonna go on your hands onto a high plank. Alright, from here, we're gonna go knee tuck, right and left. Ready? Let's go. Okay, option, if it gets too much, you can just stay in the plank. Or if you can, just follow me as much as you can. But if you want, just go a little bit fast because this will be your last one. Or even if you want to just run at the spot, just drive your hips up a little bit and just stay there. So choose whichever that works for you today. We're gonna finish this right to the end. Take a deep breath in and out. And try to pull out your arms firmly down to the floor. Last view. Woo. Woo. All right, so that's cardio pilates for you. Okay, kind of mobilize that wrist. Take a deep breath in and out. Okay, everyone. Okay, let's do this standing up, stretching. From here, everybody stand up. Feel free to pause the video, hydrate. But once you're ready, follow me. I'm gonna grab your right ankle. Let's point the right knee down. And inhale and exhale. And switching over the other side. Good job, everybody. So that's cardio pilates. Ooh, that's cardio pilates. That really help you in a whole lot of muscles in a different angle than your typical traditional resistance training. Okay, now bring it to the side. Step one foot to the front. Hinge forward, toes pointing up. And switch over the other side. So during the cool down, Use this opportunity to also kind of catch your breath and slowly coming back. And now from here, open up your knees, open up your feet, bend both knees, lower your left shoulder down, look to your right. And then switch over the other side. And slowly coming back. Now bring your right arm up, just open up the sides of the body and let's switch over the other side. And slowly come back in, place your hands to the front. And open up your arms. And now just one arm cross over, just to stretch your shoulders. And let's switch over to the other side. Right, good job everybody. Let's say during the whole session, if you find like you really feel a little breathless. Like, <sighs> Alright, good job trying to get out of the comfort zone slightly and to also kind of challenge your body. Uh, as time goes by, I always remind you with consistency, it's going to get a little easier but uh, it's perfectly fine if you feel a little breathless but if it gets too much until you can't talk at all, slow things down, okay? Let's take three deep breaths in, inhale and exhale out. Two more times, breathe in and breathe out. Gonna go one more time, inhale Interlace your hands and reach up nice and long and just feel good and exhale down. Alright, thank you so much. I will see you guys on the next workout. Bye.